Hiya! I was tagged by Cosmetic Charlotte 72 to do the 11 most reach for products tag. I'm sure you guys will all have heard of her channel anyway. She's a big beauty guru here on YouTube. But if not, go check it out and I'll link her below. So I'll start with a hair product. This is the John Frieda High Shine Perfecting Glosser for brunette hair. It really reminds me of the Frizzies hair serum. That's by John Frieda as well. So if you've ever tried this, this is quite similar. And I think this just adds so much shine, so I use it every time that I wash my hair. And about the brunette aspect of it, I'm not sure if that actually does enhance it. I always wonder this with hair products that are blondes or brunettes, because I wonder how they really work. This one claims to illuminate the beautiful multi-dimensional tones in the brown hair. So I can't comment on whether it enhances my colour, but it's definitely really good for smooth, sleek hair that's shiny. Next is a body moisturising mist. This is from Soap and Glory, which is the Boots line, and I love Soap and Glory products because they always smell divine. I find this really easy to apply, it doesn't make your hands sticky, and it's just got a gorgeous, gorgeous smell. Literally, if you put it on in the morning after a shower, you can just keep smelling it throughout the day. And even though it's not a cream, it still moisturises really well. Another moisturiser that I use, and this one's for my face, and that's the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturising Lotion. I absolutely love this moisturiser because it sinks into your skin perfectly, there's no grease or residue left, and it leaves it really, really smooth to touch. I can't say great things for the other two in the Three Steps Clinique system. I use the toner, and I'm still using it now because I'm going to use it till it runs out, but I can't say it's done wonders for my skin. I'm definitely going to be getting this once I've run out. This has lasted me ages actually. To get down to here, I've had it for quite a few months. It's quite a long lasting product because you literally need a pea sized amount and it just completely hydrates your whole face. Next it's my favourite perfume and this is John Paul Gaultier Classique. I tend not to use this every day but I probably do use it most out of the perfumes that I do have so I definitely say it's a most reach for product and it's one of them perfumes that if someone walks in the room you can immediately tell they're wearing this you can immediately tell they're wearing something really nice really musky beautiful scent and love it this one's a bit of a random product and it's pseudocreme which kind of isn't really beauty makeup at all pseudocreme is just sort of like a nappy rash cream for babies but in general it's an antiseptic cream i use this on these spots because i get quite bad skin and i find it really dries the spot out and the antiseptic gets in there and starts working. I also use it on my eyebrows after I've plucked them. I find if you put moisturiser or Vaseline, as some people tend to do, around the red area you're left with, it can seep into the pores and cause spots or blackheads. So I go for something like this because it soothes the redness and the soreness, but it also stops any dirt getting into the open pores you've left from plucking the hairs. It clears up any redness really quickly. So it's quite a multi-purpose product. And the next product is a hand and nail cream. And I've tried an abundance of hand creams. I'm literally always looking out for a good one. I think I've got five different types in my drawer over there. And the reason I'm always looking is because I have horrible nails. They are so brittle, literally. You can't see now because of my polish, but it's the whole tip and right down to the center is probably like layered and cracked. I don't know why this happens because I feel like I do everything that should result in healthy nails. I drink tons of water. I eat a fairly good diet. I take multivitamins. I don't use a harsh nail polish remover, and yet still my nails just aren't growing. I don't know if it's because I do quite a lot with them, but I am always sort of washing or tidying, and I like long baths and stuff, and I know water is the worst enemy for your nails, but still, so I'm always looking for good hand creams, and I use them about four or five times a day because my nails dry out so quickly. But this is a product that I love, and I think it has been working a bit for my nails, and it's the Body Shop Almond Oil Hand and Nail Cream. I use quite a lot of that, it's nearly gone. And this is just a great product because it's all natural ingredients, it's almond oil, shea butter and soya oil. A lot of the Body Shop products are. It's such a pleasure using it because it smells so gorgeous, and then your hands sort of smell of it all day, it's lovely. The one thing I would say about it is it's quite oily, or rather not oily, but you just you wouldn't want it going near the skin on your face or your pores. Quite a heavily moisturising product. But that's why I think it's great for nails and hands because this area dries out quite a lot. Therefore it's perfect. Now I'm going to move on to a few makeup products. First is a pressed powder that I use daily. And this is a great cheap powder, but I think it does the job by Rimmel. And it's the Stay Matte powder. I've got it in warm beige. And I only got that recently and I've used so much of it. 
find it can be quite, because it's a mattifying powder, you've got to be careful that you don't get it into any lines or areas that dry out naturally. You've really got to put it on your T-zone. I think it leaves quite a nice finish. I'm wearing it today. So yeah, this is definitely one of my most reachful products. And another product that I'm loving at the moment is the Bourjois Bronzing Powder. It comes in this adorable little gold booklet style packaging and you open it up and there's the powder. And I definitely use it most days, if not every day. Now the next product is my favourite eyeshadow. It's my Clinique Colour Surge Trio palette. I do use this pretty much every day, unless I'm going for a different look obviously, but this is my normal shades I wear. It's great the way they give you the highlighter, the base colour and the shader for the crease. So it's so quick and easy to apply, you can just whack it all on and you've got really nice smoky brown eye really quickly. Another product by Clinique that I love at the moment is the High Impact Curling Mascara. Now this is a sample size and I got all these products in a gift bag a while ago. I absolutely love this one and ironically, not because of what it says it does, it tells you it's a high impact curling mascara. But if I was going to attribute anything to this mascara, it would definitely be volume and thickness. It doesn't really curl my lashes. As you can see, I'm wearing it today. The camera's not great at showing up what makeup I'm wearing. But yeah, I find it doesn't necessarily curl the lashes. It really gives them length. The only downside of it is taking it off because it's quite tricky to get off. I find the eye makeup remover I use does nothing to it. So when I'm washing my face, I'm there and I'm kind of having to, it sounds horrible, but I'm kind of having to pull the product off the eyelashes because it is kind of like an extension of your lashes that's what it does but it's just great and really dramatic and I love it and when this runs out I'm definitely gonna buy a full-size version because I just can't go without at the moment aside from how tricky it is to get off the look it gives you when it's on is definitely worth it and last but not least product 11 would have to be a favorite nail polish of mine and this is the Rimmel Lycra Pro and I've got that in the shade Fancy Fuchsia now with this product the reasons why I love it is the colour, the applicator, and how quick it takes to dry. Which again, aren't things that it says on the bottle. It says on the bottle, professional finish up to 10 days. That is a load of rubbish, it is not a 10 day wearing nail polish. It chips on the first day, and that is its major downside. The reason why I'm mentioning it, and the reason why I do use it so much, I've got it on now, is because it's just such a gorgeous colour. I haven't yet found a hot pink to match this shade. I just painted them just before this video, which is why they're not actually chipped, but unfortunately, I know they will soon. Aside, it's still probably my most used nail polish because I love everything pink. So those were my 11 most reachful products. I'd love to know what products are your 11 most reachful. So if you're watching this video and you wanna get involved with the tag, I tag you. Hope everyone's having a great day. Bye.